You know, we're hearing about this debate going on in Los Angeles, in Nashville, in Minneapolis, in New York City. Uh, uh, Hollywood is leading the charge to defund the police budgets across the country. But the leader of the Congressional Black Caucus says, don't do that. Do not cut police budgets. Let's listen to Democrat Karen Bass here. Watch. And so I will consult them. But if you ask me my personal opinion, no, I don't believe that we should be fund police departments. So she instead wants a national database of abusive police officers to ensure they can't be hired elsewhere after losing their jobs. I mean, listen, we've got 16 cops shot. At least a dozen now killed in the rioting. Six are black people. More than 300 law enforcement officials assaulted, including a cop in Brooklyn stabbed in the neck last night in an, un in an unprovoked attack. So what is your take on what uh, the leader of the Black Caucus said? So Department of Homeland Security, the first law enforcement official killed after uh, the George Floyd protests began was at the Department of Homeland Security. It was out in Oakland. Uh, PSO Underwood was shot. He was assassinated, uh, protecting a courthouse during a protest uh, by a uh, drive-by shooter. His partner took three bullets. Fortunately, is surviving. But uh, and and the Secret Service guarding the White House in downtown D.C. has had over a hundred injuries. So we've been right in the thick of retaking the streets in America, and we've taken the harm as well. And uh, anybody who thinks that defunding police departments is a good idea, hasn't been out on the streets, hasn't watched all these small businesses, frankly, some big businesses, just getting looted and trashed. And these aren't people with an ideological agenda. These are criminals. The people with the ideological agenda are pre-positioning the bricks, are pre-positioning the, the water and the, and the tools and so forth to encourage the violence and rioting.